What is going on everybody? It is Ian here with Miller Garage and today I'm tackling one of probably the biggest requested subjects when it comes to airstream renovation and that is electrical. Um, and today I'm starting with one of kind of the three main systems that are in airstreams. So the three systems are all pretty much interconnected and they overlap in ways, but I like to kind of break them up into three distinct categories. Um, I think it makes it a little easier to understand. And today I'm going to be addressing all of like the exterior wiring and, uh, or sorry, exterior lighting and your seven pin trailer wiring. That is essentially its own, you know, kind of independent system. Uh, it does connect into the battery um, for both charging purposes and um, just powering purposes, but it can actually be ran completely independent of the rest of your 12 and 110 volt systems. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, I'm gonna share some exciting news that is actually pertaining to that um, and a new product that I have developed and I'm gonna begin selling and offering to um, all of you guys or whoever wants it. And so we're gonna discuss all of those things today. Okay, so your seven pin system is basically what connects your trailer to your tow vehicle. And um, for most trailers, it's all pretty much the same. Some of the slight differences might be, you know, whether or not you have a battery, uh, the length of your trailer, and how many lights you have on. But for the most part, all Airstreams have uh, running lights, turn signals, backup lights, um, and uh, your brakes. And so kind of those are your main things that your 7-pin controls. And so with wiring, uh, you know, like I said, I get a lot of questions and I understand wiring is this crazy voodoo that we don't really understand exactly how it works. Um, at least that's, that's how I've sometimes felt about wiring. Um, and I used to do stuff with cars and so then coming into the Airstreams, it was a little bit new for me because I didn't have any familiarity with 110 volt and like house residential wiring. And so it was a little bit scary for me too, so I understand, but I got... Uh, you know, I got help from somebody who knows what they're doing for some, you know, for the first project and I learned a ton and I also, you know, there's a lot of resources out there online. Um, and so with the seven pin, I'd say one of the easiest things you can do if you want to be completely replacing your seven pin wiring is you can go online and you can find diagrams that show you exactly you know, how it's supposed to look essentially and how it's supposed to be wired. So it, it can be done pretty easily. Um, and I did link that below. Um, the other thing is, I am actually now offering wiring harnesses for your seven pin system that are pre-made and basically ready to just install. Um, this one doesn't have all of the labels on it, but it's basically gonna be labeled um, on all of the wire ends and pretty much ready to go. So um, this is going to be a great solution if you are doing a full re renovation and you are replacing all of your wiring. Um, this will save you time. Um, I'll get into a little bit more details about exactly um, you know what is in it and what you're going to be getting in a minute. Uh, so we're going to discuss that a little bit later on in the video. But I did want to actually talk about 7-pin, kind of some of the stuff that I do and um, how to put it in. So your seven pin system starts basically at the front of the trailer, and this is where your, uh, your cable that connects to the tow vehicle is gonna come into the Airstream in one way or another. Um, some of them, like this one specifically, uh, originally it had the cable run through the frame rails essentially and come up through the floor. Um, I'm doing it a little bit differently. I wanna have all of my wiring coming through this bulkhead here, um, and that's partially because this one's gonna have a, a mini split AC mounted on the front, and so I can't put it in the center. Um, so whether it comes to the frame rail or whether you have the connector that is in a hole right here, uh, the first thing that has to happen is your wires have to come through. Um, and you know, like I said, there's a few different ways. If you wanna have the cable permanently mounted to where it attaches to the vehicle, or if you wanna have it on a removable plug-in thing where you have a plug on the other side of here, um, that's kinda up to you. Um, from there, your wires are gonna come in and they're gonna go into your distribution box, which is generally mounted right here. And so this is basically what's gonna feed all of that in and then distribute it to all of the places it needs to go. Um, I can show you on this one how this is where 
the seven pin, all the wires come in from the tow vehicle and then it comes in and it basically, you have all these posts that it attaches to and then those feed, um, you know, for example, you know, we have our, our black, which is, uh, where is it? So we have our hot that comes in here and this is our, um, this is the positive terminal that comes from the truck that is going to be your charge line as well as powering everything and that comes here and then that'll distribute to various different things like it goes to your battery for the charge line, it goes to your uh, brakes, your breakaway controller, all of those things um, to give power to uh, those various things. Um, all of your lights have power that comes from the truck and it's basically like an on off and so they send a 12 volt signal that'll illuminate the light you know whenever you hit the brakes it kicks on and whenever you you know turn on the turn signal or, or whatever and so um, you have all of those signal wires that come in and then you have like for example the blue is your brake and so that comes in and it is getting a signal from both the truck and it also gets a signal from your breakaway switch and so um, this is an easy way to where you can organize all of that instead of having you know like a bunch of various different connectors and it all kind of this wiring jumbled mess is you can use one of these distribution boxes and that'll help kind of clean up your wiring and everything will be very easy to identify and everything's marked um, and so it's very simple to do um, so that initially comes in and then everything feeds out from there um, and like I said, just getting a wiring diagram is probably the easiest thing instead of, you know, walking you through everything. Um, you know, I run, uh, run the wires from there and basically I have uh, one harness that goes up throughout the trailer that is all the lights and then I have my brake line that this goes down and it's in the underbelly and it runs to the brakes to, to turn those on and off. Um, and so I like to just have it be very simplified and you can literally, you know, break it down to having your, your, your two outputs or, you know, really three, I guess, if you include the breakaway switch. Um, but you know, you'll run. So the last component and thing you need to think about is your battery location because you'll have a charge line, which is what this is. And this will be charging your battery while you're driving. So. Um, on this one, the battery is going to be pretty much right up here in the front, so that's why we have our charge line right here. If it was going to be somewhere else, I would have ran it through this harness to, again, keep all of that in one place. So you really want to uh, consider your layout, and when it comes to actually like ordering a harness through me, those are the questions that I'll, that I'll ask and I'll need to know as far as uh, you know the length of your trailer, where your battery is going to be located, um, you know, the, what exterior lights you have, because they, they vary from trailer to trailer and year to year. So as far as the components and what I recommend and where you should get them, um, first the distribution box, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to buy the system separately. Um, the distribution box, I get them through Vintage Trailer Supply. I'm going to try to see if I can find them uh, through my wholesale wire distributor. But um, for right now, I'm getting them through VintageTrailerSupply.com, um, link below, as well as that front connector. Um, whenever I was doing this, they were out of stock, so uh, I wasn't able to get one, you know, those for future harnesses. But um, those are available also through uh, VintageTrailerSupply.com. Um, as far as your wiring, I try to use high quality wire because you want it to last um, and obviously not deteriorate or break with movement. One of the things with Airstreams is obviously the wires are going to be moving somewhat inside of the trailer as the trailer is moving. Um, so one of the things I use is um, actually marine grade wiring and it is, it's a copper stranded wire and all of this stuff is designed for, you know, heavy abuse in marine applications and so it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to last and it's going to be very nice um, you also want to use like watertight connections. Um, all of, I don't know if you can see it very well there, but uh, all my connections on the harnesses and the stuff that I build for clients is heat shrink connectors. Um, so you either crimp and then you heat it up and it 
uh, basically just creates a solid seal there. Um, so stuff like this. And so that's really helpful. And then um, on my harnesses that I'm selling, they're all in wire loom. And from the factory, they didn't loom anything. And, you know, I see it as just an added protection because this is all uh, woven loom and this is high temperature. Um, it's not split loom. So it's, <laughs> it's more challenging when it comes to building the harness because you have to like plan it out really well. Obviously, subsequent ones, it's going to be easier, but um, but this stuff is really fantastic because it protects the wire, and this is like top of the line stuff. Um, everything I'm using is top of the line uh, stuff that's used in like you know high end cars and race applications and all that kind of stuff. So um, and like even even the tape that I'm using to hold the wires together is Captain tape, and that is a high temperature, uh, high adhesion tape that is you know again designed for a high, high abuse applications um, potentially you know overkill but I kind of like to do things um, you know to the to the highest level so um, you know if you're interested in getting a wiring harness through me uh, for right now uh, email which is below you can shoot me an email uh, with the details of your trailer and that kind of stuff and we'll figure it out uh, the plan is to have it available on uh, the website, which we are in progress of working on, uh, we've been discussing stuff and we're starting that and that's going to be hopefully coming soon. Um, and so that's something you can check out in the near future or depending on when you're watching this, it could be now. So, uh, And then when it comes to installing the wiring harness and getting everything in position, um, I, you know, I run it and leave some good slack in it because you don't want, you don't want everything to be really tight because it's going to be pulling on it. Um, and so I leave slack and I have, uh, for, for holding everything in place, I have these great connectors and these will come with the harness, but it's basically, it just, it clips in like this. And so that's, and it's got a, uh, adhesive back and it's a very strong adhesive. And so those are included with your harness uh, whenever you order it through me. Um, and so that's really helpful. If not, you can find those in various different places. Um, I got them through Waytech Wiring. They have a lot of really great stuff. Um, and then I just use tape for the smaller wires. And this is, this is a specific harness tape that's, again, it's a very high-end tape. Um, so that's got a lot of adhesion, so that's going to stay in place. Um, and also, once you get the insulation up there, that kind of holds stuff in place as well. And so I just have these with the butt connectors ready to go. So you just install your lights and crimp them in place, and everything's good. It's water sealed, just you know, in the event of water coming through. Um, and so you just run all that, and then um, you know, moving from the front back, you're just going to you know install it, whether it is you know through grommets or through the ceiling, um, you'll just run the wiring and, and complete it all. And then it comes all the way back, obviously. Um, you have additional lights in the end caps here, so there's connectors for that. Um, so that's one of the things, like I said, if you're building your own harness, you need to, you know, I would draw it out on paper, like get your measurements and give yourself some slack there um, and draw it out on paper and um, make sure that you, you know, have all of your lights accounted for and all of that. Um, some of the, like the mid 70s and 80s ones, there's lights that come down in the middle of the trailer and you have like the running lights on the side in the, in the middle section of the trailer. Um, so those are some additional ones. The, these older ones don't have that, so um, that is not on this harness. Um, this one's not finished yet, but uh, you basically have all of your uh, lights that come to the back and so this one isn't 100% finished yet but I can basically explain which wires do what um, your green is like I said it's your it's your running lights so it's gonna be the the red LEDs that are up here or bulbs or whatever if you don't use LEDs um, and those are just on whenever your lights are on just like the rest of your running lights um, that this will also hook up to your brake lights because you want those to be partially illuminated whenever you're running and then um, your turn signals which is your your red and your brown 
are gonna fully illuminate your brake lights whenever you put on the brakes. Um, Cause you get, you have a brake signal and your turn signals that come through these. Um, and obviously they will uh, be dependent upon which side is which. Um, so you're basically gonna have two wires going to your turn signal bulbs and then your yellow is gonna go to your reverse lights. So um, whenever you have your, your lights in there, and this one doesn't have the tail lights in it yet, we need to source those, but um, that's why it's not hooked up yet. Um, then you can hook those up. So like I said, you'll have um, your running light and your turn signal light going to the tail light and then your yellow reverse will go to your white reverse lights. So like I said, once you kind of get a general understanding of it, it, it makes it not quite so scary and so difficult. Um, like I said, you can look up the wiring diagrams. It's really helpful. And that's basically how I've done it and that's worked great for me, so. Uh, but also if you are interested in wiring harnesses, uh, like I said, that's something I'm doing now. So email for now until the website's up whenever you can buy direct. And um, I will, you know, I don't have any pre-made in stock yet for, you know, for initially I'm gonna do them uh, custom per order. So, you know, I don't know, my turnaround time might be about a week. We'll just kind of have to see. Uh, the plan is to have them in stock and then to have them to be able to like sell to other distributors and stuff like that. So that's kind of the direction, but bear with me. Um, Cause you know, if all of a sudden I have like a hundred orders uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to hire somebody to help. So we'll see. But this one here is going out to Carissa, AKA the Sanding Blonde. If you uh, search the Sanding Blonde on Instagram, you can go check her out. She is getting into Airstream renovations. She got one that was going to be hers and then you know, life changed and all that kind of stuff. And now she's working on two. So it's super exciting and you need to go check her out. Uh, she's also linked below. So I'm about to be sending this out to her. I just need to add some ground wires and uh, the labeling and stuff and then it'll be ready to go. So excited there. Um, she's gonna be putting it in and talking about it and stuff. So um, thrilled about that. And uh, if you guys haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like and comment and follow us on all of the different social media channels. And we will see you next time.